Hey guys, this is the ultimate video tutorial on how to create a Solana token or meme coin from scratch without any coding, add liquidity to your token so it's tradable on a DEX, which is Radium, so your token has a chart and users can swap Solana for your token. Not only that, but we'll see how to set up a website, Twitter, and Telegram for your new meme coin. We're going to be seeing everything step by step. I see there are some YouTubers selling Solana crash courses for hundreds of dollars on how to create a token on Solana and it's filled with just coding. But on this video, I'll show you how to do the same thing without coding for free. You'll only be paying for the fees in Solana needed to create the token and launch it on a DEX. First, let's go to keygomax.com and if you go to this website, there are a lot of Solana tools like you can create a Solana token, upload files to Web3 and burn SPL and LP tokens. But if you click on checklist right here, I have created a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your meme coin, including the website, Twitter, Telegram, everything. So let's start by creating a logo. You can do this on Photoshop or Canva, which is an online web service. It's very, very easy. You just need to create a logo. For this tutorial, I'll be using this logo, which is the HODL coin logo. I designed this for the sake of this video. The name of my token will be HODL Solana or HODL coin, and the symbol will be HODL. Once you create the logo, you need to create a banner, a new buy and portal images. Here is an example of a Twitter banner. And here's an example for a portal image. You just have to put your logo and add the text portal. And here is an image for a new buy. This is what will appear when people buy your coin and the buy bot shows it on your Telegram group. An additional step you can do is download a custom font, which you can use everywhere on your website, on your logos, everywhere. We have completed steps one and two. Number three is we need to create a website on Wix and register a domain. I choose Wix because it's very easy to create a website. It's all drag and drop. I'll just show you. I've already created the website. This is the website that I created. It took only around 15 to 20 minutes to create this. Everything was drag and drop. I just drag and drop this image and then I just typed this out and then I added links. You want to add these four links to your website, which is the buy button, the deck screener button, the Telegram button and the Twitter button. And you can add all the other details right here. You can create the website as big as you want. You can include all the details about your coin and what it's gonna do. If it's a meme coin or is it a utility coin, you can add anything that you want. We don't need to link the buttons to anywhere right now. We're gonna do that later. Once you create this website, you can register a domain. Registering a domain costs around 20 to $30 here. Uh, it includes the Wix premium plan as well as registering the website. You don't have to do this step, but I recommend that you do. I've registered the website hodlcoinsol.xyz. So let me click on it and you can see it goes to the website. Let's move on to step number four, which is creating a Telegram group and channel using Delug by bot. I'll just connect my phone so I can show you. Open Telegram on your phone and click on the new chat button. Right here, you wanna search for Delug by bot. Make sure that you select the right one. This is the first one. Click on start, click on setup, select click to select a group. Click on create a new group for this and you can name your group. I'll name it HODL coin. Select the image for your coin. Click on create, click on send, click on select a channel, click on create new group for this and this is a channel. Make sure you include portal in the title and select the portal image. Click on next, click on send. Go back and you can see the channel and the group has been created. We want to redirect everyone to the portal so they can tap and verify and then come into the group. So let's go back into dbybot. Now click on create portal. You can see the portal has been created in the channel to the group. Anyone who comes into this portal and clicks on tap to verify and verifies they're a human will be redirected to this group. The share link for your telegram should be the channel group. Go into your channel, click on edit, change the channel type into public and create a customized link for your channel. I've made it as t.me slash hodl coin Solana. Click on done. Now we're done with Telegram for now. Let's go back into our computer. And the next step is to create an email account and to create a Twitter. I'm not gonna do this step since it's pretty straightforward. You need an email account to create a Twitter account. I will just go into a random Twitter account. For now, it's Sol. It's a meme coin on Solana. You can go into the Twitter account of any meme coin on Solana and you can just check them out and see how they have set up their Twitter. You can see the name, the username, the description, how they have linked their Telegram and their website. One thing to remember is you do not wanna spam your coin on Twitter because if you do that, then you're account will be banned. So we already created the banner. You want to set the banner as well as the profile picture and your Twitter is ready to go. For the next step, you want to set the fav icon for the Wix website. All you have to do is go into settings here, click on fav icon. I've set the fav icon already and I've set the banner as the general social image. Now comes the fun part. We need to create a new Solana wallet and fund the wallet. You can use your existing Solana wallet or you can create a new wallet and make sure that you fund the wallet. I've already done the same. I'll be using this wallet. So we need to create a token on Solana.keyglowmax 
Max.com. This website allows you to create a token on Solana without any coding required. First, we need to select the wallet and connect it to the website. Click on Select Wallet, Phantom, and Connect. Now we need to create the metadata for our token, which includes the name, symbol, description, and image. For this, we need to upload the image first. So click on Select File and click on your token's image. Click on Open. Wait for the name to appear and then click on Upload. You will have to approve three transactions. I've approved all three transactions and the link has appeared. We can right click and click on open a new tab to verify that the image has been uploaded. Now we want to open notepad or text edit. We want to copy this example and paste it into our notepad. Now we want to copy the link of the image and we want to paste it where it says paste ER weave image link here. Set the name of your coin and symbol. You can add a small description to your token. Okay, I've done this. Now click on Control S and save the file as URI.json. Make sure that it is a JSON file. Now we can close this. Now we need to upload the JSON file into AR Weave. Click on Select File, click on URI, and open. Now after URI.json appears, click on Upload, and we need to approve three transactions again. A new link to the JSON has been created. Right click on it, click on open a new tab to verify that the JSON has been uploaded and is being hosted on AR Weave. Now copy this link and paste it where it says upload metadata URL. Now enter the token name and symbol exactly as you entered it on the JSON. Select the supply of the token, I'll put it as 1 billion and make sure that the decimals is 9 which is default for Solana. Click on create token and confirm the transaction. Now if we check our phantom wallet, the coin will not be there for at least 10 to 20 seconds, but after that it will appear. Okay, our coin has appeared and the image has appeared as well. You can see that we have 1 billion HODL tokens. Now you want to tap on the three dots and click on view on Sol scan. This is the token account of HODL coin. You want to click on SPL token address. Copy the token address by clicking on copy to clipboard here. Go back into the token creation tool and paste the SPL token address here. Now we want to revoke the freeze authority and we want to revoke the mint authority. We have to revoke the freeze authority if we want to add liquidity. So click on revoke freeze authority and confirm the transaction. Now we have to revoke the mint authority as well. We have to do this because if we don't, then we can mint unlimited supply of HODL tokens and we do not want that. So click on revoke mint authority, click on confirm. Let's view our token on SolScan and let's refresh this page. You can see that the authority is still my wallet. This will change in around 10 to 20 seconds. So now the authority has been revoked. You can see that the authority is all ones. Now we can go back into the token creation tool and we can start to add liquidity. I've already done this step in another video. So I'll just play that video, follow the exact same steps. The next step is to add liquidity. We cannot do this on this website. We have to create an open book market on Radium. So you wanna click on open market book um, sorry, open book market. And you want to go to this website, you want to click on base token, your token address should already be in your clipboard, but let me just copy it. And you want to paste it right here. And you want to click on connect wallet first. Yes, forgot to connect the wallet, click on phantom, click on connect here, you want to click Sorry, you want to input the symbol for your token, which is KGM. The name was key glow max. Make sure it's the same thing which you entered previously. Click on add user token and you can see it's been added. You just want to tap on it and it'll add right here as the base token. The code token is usually Solana. So let's just select Solana and the minimum order size and the minimum price tick size. Uh, a lot of people don't understand this. Let me just go into Radium Docs. Right here you can see it says in general tokens with uh, very high total supply should create a market with large minimum order and a smaller tick size, which means if the larger supply of your tokens, like if you have 1 trillion or something, it's better you go down this scale. So right now we'll just use 100 and whatever is corresponding here. It's better to just copy and paste it because if you do make a mistake, you have to redo this process and this process actually costs around 3 Solana. So you want to copy this. I want to make sure it's corresponding to 100. Okay. That's right. And now you want to click on create market. Now you can see that you need Solana in your wallet. You need at least uh, three or four Solana in your wallet. Before you do this, you want to click on confirm because if you don't have Solana, it won't show it right here, but the transaction will confirm and it'll fail right here. The transaction one will be confirmed, but transaction two will fail. 
But uh, since we did have enough Solana, it did pass your new market ID. You wanna copy this and let's just open Notepad, text edit, and we'll just paste our market ID right here for reference. Let's go back into the checklist. Now we need to update the website with the relevant links. Go and copy your SPL token address and go back into Wix. For the buy hodl button, we want to link it to radium.io slash swap. Question mark output currency is equal to our contract address. Click on done. For deck screener, you want to change it to deckscreener.com slash Solana slash your contract address. Click on done. The SPL token address is your contract address. For Telegram, change it to your Telegram portal link. And for Twitter, do the same. Just link your Twitter account and then publish the website. Now we can go back and we need to create Telegram filters for our website, CA and Twitter. Open Telegram and go into your group, type in slash filter slash CA and paste your contract address right here. I'll be using another coin's contract address for this video. The filter has been saved. So whenever someone comes into your Telegram group and types in CA, they will get the contract address. You want to do the same for website and Twitter. Okay, I've done it. Now we want to set up the buy bot. For this, type in slash add. Click on continue in this chat. Send the token address. It says send me the portal link. So go back and copy the portal link. Select Solana and your portal is done. So now whenever someone buys your token, you will get a message from Buybot here. We have completed everything until step 16. Now we need to create the liquidity pool for our coin. For that, go into the Solana token creator, click on create liquidity pool. Now right here, you wanna paste what you just copied and you wanna click on confirm. Now it'll only confirm if you have revoked the freeze authority. If you did not revoke the freeze authority, you will get an error here and it will not allow you to add liquidity. So right here, you wanna add liquidity however you wish. So let me just set this however I want. I'll just add everything actually and I'll add around three Solana. So the price, yeah, it's 333 million KGM per one Solana is the base starting price. So uh, you can set the start time if you want. Uh, it says a creation fee of 0.68 Sol is required for new pools. So right now you wanna click on initialize liquidity pool. So what this will do is it'll debit the Solana, whichever that you input right here, as well as the KGM tokens. You wanna click on confirm and your pool has been created and this is your AMM ID. You also want to store this right here, which will be pretty useful. Now you want to burn the liquidity pool tokens. You have to do this so people are ensured that you do not provide the liquidity tokens back into Radium and pull the liquidity, which is basically a rug pool. So for that, go to solana.keyglomax.com slash token burner. In here, we can enter the token account, token address, and amount to burn. After you provide the liquidity, you will get the liquidity pool tokens inside your wallet. I have not done it for Coin Solana, but I will be using this token to show you how to burn the LP tokens. I'm going to be selecting this this token, but you should select the LP tokens that you received from Radium. After you do that, click on the three dots and click on view on Sol scan. This is the token account. Copy the token account, come back to the token burner and paste it where it says token account. Go back into the token account, click on SPL token address. Copy this token address, come back into the token burner and paste the token address here. Now select the amount to burn. You usually want to burn everything. For example, if you have 10,000 liquidity pool tokens or 5,000 or 10 or 1 million, whatever it is, you want to burn it. So right here, I'll just input everything, which is 1 billion for me. Usually the LP tokens won't be this large. You want to proceed with this step with caution because once you burn the liquidity, you will not be able to reverse this process. So after everything is done, click on burn tokens and confirm the transaction. Now we can go back into the LP tokens link. And if you refresh this page, you will see that the current supply will go to zero. We want to wait and click on refresh again. This usually takes a while, so it's done. And you can see the current supply is now zero, which means you have burned the LP tokens. You can go into transactions, and if you click on signature, this is the link you need to prove that you have burned the LP tokens. You can see main actions burned. What we can do is check out our token on DEX uh, screener. So let me just open deckscreener.com and we'll copy our token ID, sorry, token address, and we'll just paste it here. Our token is right here. And already some bots are playing with our token since we added liquidity. Let's go back into the checklist and we are totally done. And you have created a token from scratch without any coding 
and now your token is listed on a DEX. There are a few additional steps you can take, like updating the DEX trainer token info and links, which costs you $300. Uh, you can submit a CoinGecko listing request, which is free, and also a Coin Market Cap listing request, which is also free, and click on the links to access those. But that is pretty much it, guys. That is how you create a token from scratch. Now you are a Solana token expert. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.